It was about one month after assassination of uh, our Prime Minister Tsakar Bin, and uh, I accepted the request of the Prime Minister Shimon Peres and became the director of the Israeli Shin Bet. I spent 27 years of my life in the military, um, an ex-general, uh, and I was the deputy of the National Security Advisor uh, during uh, Prime Minister Sharon. I am a retired colonel from the Israeli army. I served as the brigade commander in uh, Gaza Strip in 1993-94, and then as the head of peace administration under four is a prime ministers. I negotiated the Oslo Accords. I was head of the Israeli foreign ministry. I was consul general in New York. Um, and today I'm the president of the Paris Center for Peace. I used to be a diplomat. I was a member of three Knessets doing a great deal of work for Holocaust survivors. I am a professor of Middle Eastern Studies at Tel Aviv University. I also served Israel as ambassador to uh, Egypt and the first ambassador to Jordan. I'm an Israeli singer-songwriter, uh, musician. I perform internationally and in Israel. Uh, my career spanned almost 20 years. Um, I uh, am very proud to say that beyond uh, writing and performing music, I'm also very dedicated to the peace process in Israel. I'm 38, from Jerusalem. I sing and write most of the songs for Adag Nachash, hip-hop funk band. I'm a writer, born in Israel. Uh, I've written seven novels, I think. I haven't counted them. We have uh, three children. Uh, we lost uh, our son Uri in the Second uh, Lebanese War. I'm the chair of the Yitzhak Rabin Center, which is the official memorial site to commemorate the assassinated prime minister and defense minister, who happened to be my father. I don't know if people especially in Israel, know even what it means to live in, a, in an unthreatened, healthy environment. And I think it's time to give it a chance. Once upon a time when we thought that uh, winning all the battles will create more security for Israel. But the best way to achieve security is just to stop fighting. I think that uh, time is not playing in our favor. And I also can mention my father saying, uh, let's say uh, 15 years ago or even more, that we have a very narrow window of uh, opportunity to create peace treaties, to sign peace treaties with our neighbors. On one hand, we understand that uh, the idea of uh, greater Israel is not possible. On the other hand, uh, it is very painful for us to accept it. So uh, the awakening of this dream is a very painful process. We have to choose between the concept of Israel as a Jewish democracy or uh, settlements all over the country. I believe that it's better for Israel to have a peace agreement with the Arab world, with the Palestinians, maybe as a part of the Arab League peace uh, uh, initiative, then to keep uh, here and there uh, a few square kilometers in the, uh, the territories. You know, I want to have peace because, well, it will solve our security problems, our economic problems, it's very important. And I want to have peace because I think that the Palestinians should have a chance to create their own nation, to build up a nation, to invest their energies in creation, in education, living life without the humiliation of occupation, to, to live life with dignity of every human being. But first and foremost, I want to have peace because it will allow Israel for the first time in modern history to live the life we deserve to live and to be able to explore everything that is in our potential as a people and as a society and as a culture. If we will be free from taking care of, of our very existence and our surviving within the area and investing in, in the military, then 
there will be a lot to invest in all the, uh, the rest of the things. And this is what, this is in my utopia land is the situation. Everybody has so much to gain and so much to benefit from the resolution of this war, this hundred year war. In 10 years time, my son is due to enroll in the Israeli army, to be drafted to the Israeli army, just as I was, my husband, my family, and everybody I know. I hope to see in my lifetime that it ends, but I'll settle for my kid's lifetime. I'd like to, to try and ensure that by the time he's 18, that's 10 years, not a long, long time, things in Israel will change. It's a very clear choice here. We have to choose. And my choice is very clear. We have to make peace with the Palestinian. We have to create a Palestinian state. And uh, then we'll be a democratic Jewish state here in Israel. We want to end the conflict. We accept the two-state solution. We feel that settlements are an obstacle to peace. And we would like to see our government working with the U.S. government in order to reach that uh, target. We cannot reach a peace agreement with the Palestinian. Palestinians without any help from the outside. And the, the, the realization that we need help is a little bit painful, but this is the truth and we have to realize that we cannot do it alone. And the only uh, country that we can trust uh, with our security and other concerns that we have is the United States. I think that everything Obama has done until now is the best thing that could possibly be for Israel. His support of the two-state two -state solution is blessed and I can only strengthen his hands and hope that he continue in that direction. I hope that Mr. Netanyahu and the Israeli leadership would be courageous enough to respond to this new air that comes from Washington. It's the kind of thing where you know what the end, where the end is, you don't know where the beginning will be. But maybe President Obama will help with the beginning. Deep in our hearts, the fragility and the vulnerability of Israel is so strong that we do not really believe that we shall be here. Only having peace will allow us to feel this solidity of existence, that we are here to stay, that this is our place. We can have a totally new region. Yes. Only up to the leaders. The people are ready. As somebody who's pro-peace, pro-Israel, Israeli as yourself, what would you say to Americans, and specifically American Jews, about speaking out on this? If you care, you should speak out. A true patriot of Israel is seeking for peace. And the, uh, the Jews in America should uh, join this call for peace in the, in the Middle East and in Israel, because this is th this what it means to be a true patriot of Israel. I met uh, J Street people uh, in, in America and when they came to visit in Israel, and I believe, um, I believe that um, their vision um, of Israel uh, is my vision. As one who knows the American scene, I very strongly support the efforts of J Street. I'm proud to join forces with J Street in their support of the two-state solution, coexistence and peace for Israel. I think J Street is an extremely important organization when we look at the peace process. I applaud it and I look forward to work with them. For our future and the future of our children, please do support the two-state solution. Please support peace. Support Obama's initiative. Get involved for peace and for the future. Tadaba.